This is the first narrated presentation for Biology 101, Module 2, Chemistry of Life. Let's get started. Learning objectives for this module are based on key terms and concepts of chemistry. The concepts listed here include the basic properties of atom, the fundamental unit of matter, and how those atoms interact through chemical bonds to merge together to form molecules. First, you must know, what exactly is matter? Matter is anything that has mass and occupies a space. So, it is anything that is not the void of space. Biotic matter is matter that is or once was a living thing. Bones, cicada exoskeletons, and hair follicles all fall into this category of biotic matter. Abiotic matter is matter that is not and has never been a living thing. Rocks and atmospheric gases are examples of abiotic matter in that they have never been living and they are not living. Although in reality some of the carbon dioxide that makes up less than 1% of our atmosphere was released by an organism breaking down carbohydrates for energy. Atoms are the fundamental unit of matter. This means that atoms are the smallest piece that can no longer be divided. So atoms are the smallest piece of matter that can no longer be divided. Atoms are composed of the subatomic particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. However, changing the number of protons would change the type of atom. Thus, the type of matter would be changed as well. Protons and neutrons are found at the center or nucleus of the atom. They are surrounded by electrons that revolve around the nucleus in different paths known as electron orbitals. Protons are positively charged and electrons are the opposite of protons and negatively charged. Neutrons are said to be neutral because they have no charge. Subatomic particles that make up atoms can be described by not only their position, but also their mass, size, and charge. Protons are positively charged, and electrons are the opposite of protons and negatively charged. Neutrons are said to be neutral because they have no charge. Protons and neutrons are both much more massive than electrons, so protons and neutrons are measured to determine an, ato an atom's mass. Isotopes of the same element, carbon with six protons for example, differ in their mass because they have different number of neutrons. Carbon-14 is more massive because it contains two more neutrons than carbon-12, which only has six protons and six neutrons. Element is the term that describes a collection of one type of atoms. That means all those atoms have the same number of protons, but maybe isotopes containing a different number of neutrons. Isotopes, again, are different because of the different number of neutrons, while atoms that have gained or lost electrons are called ions. Some important elements in the body are carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen, the most common found in the human body. These are listed in red on this slide. Phosphorus and sulfur are also important in the structure of lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Trace elements are those found in a small percentage, such as iron, that is important to the delivery of oxygen from your lungs to your body. As discussed earlier, protons and neutrons have mass. Both subatomic particles are weighed to be approximately of the same mass, which measures as one atomic mass unit, or AMU. An AMU, atomic mass unit, is so small of a measurement that 500 trillion trillion could fit into one ounce. Again, the atomic mass is approximately equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. 
Neutrons are neutral, so no matter the number of neutrons, the charge remains the same. The number of protons in the nucleus must remain the same or the element would change. However, differences in the number of the third subatomic sub particle, the electrons, do cause a change in electric charge. This example explains that if the fifth element, boron, with five protons and five electrons naturally, were to gain three electrons, then the charge of the element would become negative three. Elements are organized on the periodic table according to their properties that are largely controlled by the number of electrons found in the outer shell. The information on the periodic table includes an atomic symbol, atomic mass, and atomic number. The atomic symbol is unique to each type of element. The atomic mass is the number of protons and neutrons. The atomic number is the number of protons, which is always the same for every type of element. The picture in this slide is a periodic table of elements. The periodic table contains much of the important information about an element. Several important things to remember about the periodic table are the elements arranged are arranged by periods, oriented horizontally, and by groups, oriented vertically. The first group is known as the alkali metals, and their ions carry a positive one charge because they donate an electron with a negative charge to obtain a full set of electrons in the outer shell. The second group is the alkaline earth metals. Their ions similarly carry a positive two charge. Two other important groups are the seventh and eighth groups, the halogens and noble gases respectively. Noble gases are unique in that their atomic configuration contains a full electron shell. Thus, they carry a neutral charge and are generally unreactive with other elements. In review, this narrated presentation from Module 2 discussed biotic and abiotic matter, atoms, isotopes, and elements.